What's up guys? Welcome to Tech Mode. So we are learning learning Scully and this is a part three. If you haven't watched the first part and second part, please please uh, go through them. So in this part three, what we are going to learn is that we are going to learn some advanced concept of Scully as well as uh, what we are going to do is that we are preparing certain unit test cases in Python and we will be generating HTML report. So let's get started with it. And here we go okay so things we are going to learn in about Scully so in this uh, as I already mentioned this thing we are going to create a regression script and integrating with the unit test unit test is a basically a testing framework for in Python and if you don't have any clue about what exactly unit test uh, you can go through certain links that I will be providing you and uh, it's a basically kind of a set, uh, test framework that allows you to uh, create a particular test suite uh, test suite and you can just and uh, test suite will containing a certain part of a functions which will be uh, doing certain test cases so and after that we are going to generate a HTML test report out of it so what we are going to learn more we we will be using HTML runner it's a uh, basically a custom HTML runner that I have already have modified and added certain boot, bootstrap kind of things and we will be using unit testing in Python and uh, the third one will be UI test suite we will be pairing in Scully scripts so major task is creating a UI script integrating with the unit test and using HTML runner to create a HTML report so let's have a demo and code okay so let's just do that okay so where what we have what we have right now I have Scully opened up if you don't have uh, if you want uh, if you don't know what exactly I am doing right now, just go to the tutorial 1 and tutorial 2, you will get to know what exactly I am doing about. So right now what, what we, I have is that I will be not, uh, I will be coding after certain parts, I have already coded certain parts. So let's start with the basics one. This is the import of uh, OS system time and shuttle. Uh, so what we are going to do is that, sorry for that, okay. So, this is basically a python if you do if you have a clue about python this will be very easy for you so what we are doing is that we are creating a string or directory and we are checking and adding it to system path that's all we want so basically uh, what we want is that we want to basically add our html runner file to our project so apart from this what we are going to do is that x we are importing xml runner so if you don't have xml runner you can just go to pip install xml runner and you will it will install if you have don't inst if you have don't install the pip uh, in my second tutorial i have uh, in the first tutorial i guess i have already mentioned about the pip uh, so what we have done we have a three files so first of all let's rewind what exactly is going on so we have a simple util file what is going to die it's supporting scully and we have a two functions open browser and close browser so basically open browser will open a safari and close and close browser will co close the safari so next let's move on to may our main file this is our main file verify a b test one so what we have done is that uh, we have added our utils file to our project and we have reloaded it so that it will be available in this project and after that what we want is that we want a file stream object so what we are going to do is that we will as we already have OSD path and we will be creating a new file name as test, test report.html and it we will be writing with the byte so we have write permission right now okay so third part the most important one part is importing the unit test if you don't have any uh, if you don't have unit test installed you can just again simple thing just pip install unit test that's all and what we are going to do is that uh, we will be uh, importing HTML test runner. So let me give you what exactly how it looks like. So HTML runner is a basically a Python file. Let's open it. Okay, open it with some text. Okay, so this is a uh, HTML runner py file, and it's going to generate. It's going to generate a test report out of our unit test cases. Okay, let's move back to it. So what we are going to do is that uh, we have added it in our project. So this is our project and we have added here. So please make sure you have added it. Okay. So what we are going to do is that we are going to use a debug Scully, Scully class, uh, Scully class object and we are going to debug one. C 
csv right now we don't require this one but okay it's harmless to having so what we are going to do is uh, all the test cases uh, uh, not right now we have imported another project but it doesn't require so here's come the main magic this is all the test case that I, we have right now. so what we have what we have done is that we have created a class in a python and the class name is ui test case smoke and we have added a test case so we have already so we will be uh, inheriting the unit test cases so basically this is inheritance in python uh, we have inherited a class unit test dot test class test case and if you have a background about uh, test case how we can write the uh, test cases in python you, you will have two options two functions available setup and teardown so basically it's a start of a start of your test suite and it will be end of it it will run at your end of your test suite so start of the, what exactly we want when we start our test suite so what we, we want is open our browser so it, we, what we will be doing is that we will calling utils.open browser so it will call this function and it will open a safari for us and debug.info basically we are just printing out the information and the tear down what we are going to do is the close browser okay so this is the basic part so the main part is where we're going to write the test cases so this is the function that where we are going to write to test cases so if you know about the conventions unit test uh, they say that okay the first for first starting will be the test after uh, followed by underscore whatever name you want so i have mentioned it as a first test ui101 what exactly a test and i have just added two debug informations so to run the test what we are going to do is that we will be creating a suite out of unit test so we will calling unit test or test loader and load from the test case so we are going to pass this class name here and sorry for after that we are going to pass this suite to our html runner so what we are going to do is that we are calling html runner dot html test runner and we are passing a file it mode stream where we want ui report uh, verbosity basically kind of logs we have more verbose about it directory is dir so this dir is basically that, that directory and we are going to run that suite suite we have already have from this class so this is a basic setup and if we try to run it okay so what we will do it will do is that it will open a safari and it will print out certain things and it will close it because right now we don't have much things in setup uh, in our test case okay so it's get setup called verify test test done and buy like this towards a buy oh 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 okay don't worry let's buy debug dot and four okay <laughs> okay sorry for that. yeah so that's all and let's run again so it's going to open a browser okay it's done so why is there okay fantastic so let's see if we are able to see sir any ui reports are generated by this one so what you have to do is that if you are on a mac you have to open it show content and these are the pics so it will be deleting it as report i guess here somewhere i'm not sure just email okay first of all let's verify what exact what name that did we give it's ui test report okay so let's see where it's generated <laughs> okay okay no 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 let's come oops sorry yeah okay okay so this is a this is the thing that oh, okay here yeah, yeah. so let's open it open it with google chrome okay okay so fantastic so this is our unit test case report if we have a one i'm able to solve that problem sorry for that clap uh the problem was that this highlighted part was not uh getting matched so either you can do is that you click on that and you just increase the matching preview percentage or what you can do is that you just take the correct one okay so right if i run this it will work like a charm it will open it and it will uh, enter open the Twitter URL and it's going to assert that sign up button okay so if we go to our search back if we go to our result it says that it's failed and it has taken the screenshot also why it says failed it's because the color was getting matched 
because of that one so what we can do is that uh, we'll click on this image and met for the matching preview we're going to increase the percentage let's say that this parts are already matching okay as you can see that this part is not getting matched clearly this is the limitation of this uh, so if we do 99% still not a still it's not able to catch it so what we can do is that we're going to delete this thing and we'll open safari sorry that open safari we'll negate it to twitter and we'll add our uh, on login page so what we're going to do is that if I just because it's a very different one so this one and let's close it and save it and let's run now so what's going to do is that it'll open a safari it will open twitter.com for us and it's going to assert that login button so it's able to find it and let's see the UI report oh, okay it's again it's a fail it says the assertion error that it's my unable to find and this thing still not able to find so what we can do is that the matching preview as you can see it's, it's not able to match anyone so this is limitation actually again this is a major limitation of and so what we're going to do is that we'll match uh, we'll do a quick hack for this so let's remove this one and exist so let's take very small part of this one exactly this one okay i'm sure that this will be pass this will be a past case 100 percent save it let's run it's going to open safari twitter.com and it's going to match login yeah so finally we have a past status in our report past so that's all and uh, if you want another so now you can write your another test you can just use u ui02 underscore tst self self and write whatever you want here I'm just printing two. So this is a test cases and HTML report I have already shown you. I will be uh, uh, giving you this source code, so don't worry about it in the description below. So thanks, all, thanks a lot, guys. And if you like this video, please share, sh please share, like, share, and comment. If you don't understand anything, just just comment down below, and I will surely reply to you. Thank you, guys.